We've had a project underway for a number of years now uh, to install a new belt press and a new dryer to take care of the sludge that's generated as, as a byproduct of our wastewater treatment process. So the video that you're going to see is just kind of a walkthrough of what that new equipment is doing and what it looks like. Um, here at the beginning of the process, this is the new belt press. You're looking at the top of the belt press and that liquid sludge that was coming in from that pipe is about 2% solids at this point. It starts working its way down the belt, uh, gets a little thicker with the addition of some polymer. Uh, and as it works its way to the end of the belt, it just continues to get just a little thicker. Um, you can see the blue belts in the machinery. And what it does is it takes that, that thickened sludge a little bit and squeezes it between the two belts, gets the water out of it. And now as you see here at the end of the belt, uh, what you're seeing come off of there is now at about 22% solids. And the water gets retreated again back through the plant? The water makes its way back into the treatment process, uh, so it, it gets recycled. That's not what gets discharged from right. the plant just yet. Okay. Uh, it will be disinfected and work its way out of the plant as well. Um, the water coming into the belt press comes out of a sludge holding tank that's located on the outside of the building. Uh, but you can see it comes off of there and it, it's pretty thick. It just looks like mud. Um, but we've been able to remove about 80% mm -hmm. or so of the water from it. Uh, these screw augers uh, will take that sludge after it comes off the belt press. And as you can see, it's on an incline. Um, it will work its way uh, through this conveyor system uh, up to the top there. Uh, and that's normally not uncovered. You said that's yeah. That, that's normally got a cover on it. Yeah, that's normally not uncovered. We're still getting things up and running and yeah. working on it. Um, but it works its way across through the series of, of conveyors and drops down into the beginning end of the dryer. Uh, this is a Griffin dryer. It has a, a conveyor belt on it. And as it drops through a sifter, uh, those augers uh, spread it out evenly on the belt, and then there's another brush uh, that gets it a consistent thickness. Um, it'll spend about 30 minutes in the dryer right now, 25 to 30 minutes. And by dryer, it's an open flame, right? Yes. It, and it's it what, run, what kind of fuel? It runs off of natural gas, yeah. and at the same time that it's it's pushing heated air down through the top. It's also pulling the air okay. through a vacuum, basically pulling the air through it. And that's how it's able to dry the material so quickly. And there it's um, dropping off. Here's the dry material dropping off into another uh, screw auger uh, conveyor. And at this point, uh, it's gone from uh, about 80% moisture down to being about 99% dry. So 80% uh, wet to 1% wet. One, Yes. 99% dry, yeah. Correct. So it's uh, it's quite an interesting process. Um, it goes out of this auger uh, at this point into a bucket lift that, that has a belt with little buckets on it. They go up that shaft. And it there. lifts it up through that compartment to the top and when it dumps it goes through another auger out of the building and empties into uh, a dump truck that's parked under a shed on the outside of the building.